Hey friends, Michael Licensed Physio here with Total Physical Therapy. If you've ever dealt with lower back pain or herniated discs, it's highly likely that at least once you've experienced an intolerance of sitting for long stretches of time. We get asked all the time on why uh, an individual can't tolerate sitting and what they can do to improve that tolerance. With that said, let's first talk about why it's likely that you don't tolerate sitting. In the event that you're on your feet, um, either standing or walking, your legs are absorbing a lot of that stress that is applied to the lower back. There are stresses that are pulling down on you like uh, gravity and your body weight, but there's also a stress coming up from the ground and those stresses are colliding. And in the event that we get off of our feet and sit in a seated position, those forces are still colliding and now they're doing it more directly to the lower back. So this is one of the uh, generalized reasons why an individual will have intolerance of that. So what can you do about this? Well. Based on what I just said, one of the things is, is you can get around and move more commonly. Now, usually we're getting this comment from individuals that have a desk type job and their job requires hours of sitting. And so in these cases, what we're recommending is that individuals actually use alarms on their phones or on their watches and try to get up in intervals to where you can simply just spend one to two minutes moving around. Now, this uh, time frame as to which you set these alarms might vary uh, greatly from day to day or from person to person. Uh, we try to recommend that at least two to three times you're getting up. So this is setting alarm every 20 to 30 minutes to where you just get up and commit at least 60 seconds to just move around. Now, the moving can be simple as simply going and walking over to a water cooler, uh, going to use the bathroom, or just walking around in your office for 60 seconds. It could also include some generalized movements of the trunk and the hips. Uh, as you're witnessing now, these do not have to be extreme. They can be very subtle movements, uh, but it's just quite simply getting the body moving on a uh, more frequent basis than sitting for hours on end at your workstation. Now, if this uh, does not tend to ease up some of your discomfort, then our recommendation is to actually set those alarms in even shorter bouts. So maybe you have to get up every 10 to 15 minutes. I know this seems like a struggle, um, but if you are having to get up that frequently, then it may be very worthwhile to start exploring if you can actually raise your workstation and at least split some of the time working in a standing position. Uh, if you can make matters even better and you actually had a walk, uh, walking uh, treadmill uh, to set your workstation over, this might sound extreme, but we have had people that have had the capacity to do that and they actually found that it was highly beneficial. This is not to say that you have to do any of these things for the entire day, but hey, you got to make ends meet at times and these are just simple recommendations. Uh, another loose recommendation would be introducing a chair that actually has a solid lumbar support. If your chair does not have a lumbar support or you do not have access to a chair that has it, you can simply fabricate this by rolling up a towel and potentially placing some rubber bands or tying off the ends so it will hold place. So these are just some generalized uh, recommendations when it comes to sitting intolerance when you're dealing with disc issues and generalized back pain. Hope you found it useful. Smash that like button down below if you did. Any additional information that you want on the subject, go ahead and post that down in the comments down below. And if you haven't already done so, smash that subscribe button as well as that notification bell so you can get all of our uh, videos where we're talking about very specific details like this, hindrances to your daily uh, functioning that can be simple in remedy. Have a wonderful day, guys, and we'll talk to you soon.